password protecting additional admin actions. This tutorial applies to PHP Runner, ASPRunner.net and ASPRunner Pro. Those of you who have seen my previous tutorial will recognize this application. On the dashboard I have this missing sales count. If we click on missing sales, we now have a detailed list of all missing sales. So what are missing sales? The sales data are being captured manually. Either the time of the sales agent has not been captured yet or the sale date are incorrectly captured. So there is now a broken link between the two tables and sales will not count correctly. Okay, now you have a brief understanding of what's going on. Let me continue with what I want to demonstrate in this tutorial. Here we have an edit date button for each of these records. This allows correcting the salt date for each record, but it is also dangerous to have a button like this, as it can be used to manipulate sales count during a specific week or month. We therefore need to password protect the button and that is what I will show here. I left a link in the description to the code used in this tutorial with a few exceptions. If you follow the instructions, you will see that here we create a table to store the admin password. I'm not going to create this table. I am going to use the supervisor's password, which is already in my user table, to approve the use of this button. Now there is a small problem. I used bcrypt and not md5 in my user table to encrypt the password, so this code will have to change slightly as well. Ok, let's move on. Here I opened the project straight to the events page, add the after application initialized event, add the following code. This code is applicable for when the password was hashed using the bcrypt algorithm. It is slightly different from the code in the description that works on passwords that were hashed using MD5. Either way, here we verify the password and return true or false in JSON format. At the client before of the custom button, add the following code. Here we prompt for a password. If JSON returned true, ajax.submit will trigger the next event, else we alert the user of a wrong password and prevent the execution of the server event. Ok, let's see how it works. I now click on one of the edit buttons and we now need the supervisor's password. I deliberately supply a wrong password first. And we are unable to edit the record. If I supply the correct password, we are good to go. You can also password protect field changes. I don't really need it here in this project, but I will demonstrate anyway. At the Choose Pages screen, be sure that Inline Edit is selected for the table you would like to password protect a field for. At the Page Designer, select the field you would like to password protect. Click on View as, Edit as. Very important! Be sure to select the Edit As tab. Now click on Field Events. Select Change as an event and click on New Handler. In the Client Before event, paste the following code. I change the prompt text and change the alert to SWAL instead. Ok, let's see how this goes. During an inline edit, I will attempt to change the active time value. 
the moment I click on the next field, we need an admin password. Again, I supply a wrong password. Note how the value changed back to what it originally was. Let us try again, yet this time with the correct password.